okay, brief and specification page of your AQA coursework. Now this page is worth 10 marks, all on its own. Now that doesn't sound a lot when it's out of 100 for the whole of your coursework, but it's the same as the marking weighting for the whole of your research pages. So it's important that you take time to understand what this page involves and have investigated it fully. This page comes after the research pages. And the reason it does so is that you fully need to understand what your topic is before you can write your brief and specification. So make sure you've completed all those research pages. You need to have a really good understanding of who your target market is. Who is the client that you're producing for? You need to have looked at other products so you've got a good understanding of what already is successfully selling in this topic. You also need to have done some research into the topic itself so that you understand the needs and the possibilities of where design can be created. So, brief and specification then, let's have a look at some examples. This is an example here of a student's brief and specification page, and you can see the title very plainly at the top. And then it's got a very simple layout, and how you do this is up to you, but I would keep it as simple and easy to see as possible. So at the very top, there is a box with a statement in there. It's the brief. It explains what the student has chosen to do and what are they aiming to do. So this student has decided to create a product that's going to enable somebody to play music who has got a disability. So it's a tool and aid to enable people to carry on playing music, whatever their disability is. He said in his statement at the brief at the top there, in a couple of set sentences, why he's chosen the topic and what he's hoping to do. And that's important. Try and communicate to the examiner what it is you've chosen, but why have you chosen it? What interest have you in this particular topic? It might be personal to you. I had a student who had diabetes. When he saw this topic, he decided to do disability, but he was looking in specific at his disability. What he had a really good understanding about was diabetes and the tools, the products that went along with that disability. So, top of the page needs to be a couple of sentences that sum up your brief. Try and think what you're going to communicate and how you're going to say that. Underneath that, you need to then have your specification. A specification is a list of things that your product is going to do, a list of functions that you're hoping to achieve. These can be very, very basic things from being waterproof or being affordable or being sturdy. A list of things that a function that a product can do are quite straightforward. But think about how these functions apply to your product. What is it that your product needs to really do? So this student has made a list, as you can see on the left hand side, of the statements that his product is going to do. So his product is going to be stylish. It's going to be durable. It needs to be subtle because it's for a disabled person. He doesn't want to make this product be outstanding and bright and brash. He wants it to be very subtle so that people can use it without drawing attention to themselves. It needs to be lightweight, obviously, because it's for disabled people. They need to be able to access this and use it very easily. He needs to think about ergonomics, as he said, because obviously a disabled person is going to use this. He needs to really understand the ergonomics and anthropometrics that go with this product. Make your statements on one side. Do a minimum of four, a maximum of ten. Think of how many things you can say about your product. To follow on from that, on the right hand side, he's then got a list of statements that back up each of those functions. So a couple of sentences that explain in a bit more detail about each one. So if he said he's going to look at ergonomics, he needs to explain why. And as we just said, he needs to really understand about ergonomics to do with disabilities. He's also said his product needs to cost less than £100. And in his statements, he's explained why, why he thinks that's an important attribute to affix to his particular product. Why does it need to be under £100? He's also then at the very bottom included some photographs. Now, photographs are not necessarily on this page. What's more important is that you communicate fully your brief and specification. If you have room and you've got space, you can add some photographs later on. Don't leave loads of gaps. If it looks like there's not enough writing, 
then put more on. Here's two more examples of the brief and specification. So the example on the left hand side is a good example, grade five, level five. And this is because he has gone into a lot of depth in his specification, but he's missed one key thing that I'll come on to in a second. So he's put his brief at the top and again, a couple of sentences explaining what his topic is and why he wants to do it. And then he's put the rest in a table underneath that explains the specification, the key points of what his product's gonna do and why it's gonna do it. Now he could have pushed this page up much, much further by referring back to his research pages. So if he'd done a summary at the bottom of that, that really summed up what he'd found from some of his research pages, that would have pushed that sheet up much, much higher as an assessment page. The example on the right hand side does just that. So it talks us through, first of all, a set of criteria of what the functions are that he wants his product to do. He's got his brief above that explaining what the topic is. And then on the right hand side, you can see that he has gone through the first research pages in a bit more depth. He's looked very closely at what it is he's found from each of his research pages that's enabled him to come up with these solutions. So he's, he's listed the pages he's done already, and he's thought about how each one of those pages has influenced his specification. That pushes it up much, much higher because you can see the examiner can understand exactly where this specification and brief has come from. So anything like that that you can add to your sheet will enable you to get a much higher grade. I would say the only thing on this page, it's a little bit cramped. It does tend to be fixed together. It might be better if the brief was separated at the top. So there was a bit of a gap between the two and perhaps put his specifications into more of a table. So it was easy to identify the key things in a bit more detail. All of those things would have just helped the way it looks, which of course is much easier to mark. If it looks good, the examiner can access the information and can assign better marks to it. Hope that helps. Good luck.